And we do begin tonight in the Fox Valley where the community continues to mourn after that deadly crash that led to a train derailment in Marinette County last week. 58 year old Steve Buss from Kakana was killed. Friends say Buss left a lasting impact as a husband, a father, and a high school track coach. NBC 26's Ben Boken has more on his legacy and the effort to support his family. Caring, always concerned about others, and even beautiful. That's how members of the Kakana community remember longtime high school track coach Steve Buss. He really meant a lot to me and to so many people. Um, I, he's just going to be so dearly missed. Last week, Buss died after a crash that led to a train derailment in Marinette County. The 58-year-old leaves behind a wife and two children. When he was waiting at that train stop, he had turned and spoke to the truck driver next to him and said, be careful out there, it's dangerous. And that was the type of person he was. That's why a close family friend, Judy Bookinger, wanted to give back by starting a fundraiser. She spoke with Buss's wife the day after he died. She had mentioned she was just so worried about how she was going to be able to afford a funeral for him. And that was so incredibly sad, knowing how beautiful of a person he is. The GoFundMe for Bus has raised over $12,000 in the span of three days, a sign of the appreciation so many have for the former pole vaulting coach. He was always walking around during the meets and um, giving support to all the events, all the athletes, and athletes outside of Kakana High School. And for many, Buss's life and the lessons he taught reached far beyond sport. I would hope that maybe this would spark people to go out and go to do a good deed for others. With a goal to raise $15,000, Bookinger is close. She says it's the least she can do for a friend. I'm hoping that we can reach out and have people support the family and give as much as Steve has given all of these years. In Kakana, Ben Boken, NBC 26.